Hello guys, how are you doing today? We have got face cam man, what the hell is this guy? So this is something new, and as you can see we've got our VR headset on, so we're going to be doing some VR today. So it's pretty cool, um, a few of you guys have said in the comments that you were pretty hyped for this, so um, hopefully you guys will watch this video and um, give me feedback as well and let me know if you want to see more videos, more like VR videos previously, uh, previously in the future. I have done these previously and they didn't do as well but i mean my subscribers have grown substantially since then so a lot of you might not have seen me before but like i said i've done quite a lot of face cams previously um when i've done my vr videos so you would have been able to find them but anyway and also a company has been in touch and they've spot off to sponsor this video um it's a company called rift cat um and basically we're going to be using this program today so this um program called um it's v ridge the company's called rift cat and v ridge is a software that allows google cardboard users to play htc vive and oculus rift content um, it lowers the price point of entering a pc vr world going from over 700 us dollars to just a handful of handful of bucks but i mean britain so it's a handful of pounds man but uh basically thanks to v ridge your computer starts to think that your android phone so you'll see that my android phone's in this headset um is a HTC Vive and the whole idea is based on streaming the image to the phone screen while sending head tracking data back to the PC with minimal delay. So basically if you've already got a VR ready PC, so it's a, it has to be quite a powerful PC um, and you've got a phone, like an Android phone, I think it supports iOS as well but you'd have to check the um, link in the description um, for all the details on that. Um, I think it, it does cost this app but there is a free version which it, the free version actually limits you on time so if you've got shorter games you could play that um on the free version but if you feel like supporting the company and you on you've tried the free version and you actually really enjoy it then go and buy the full version because it is pretty sweet guys pretty sweet i've tested it once um i've not played the i'm gonna play a game that i've not played yet because some, you guys said that you'd like to see me play like a horror game um so that would be that's going to be pretty sweet, man. That's going to be pretty sweet, guys. So, like I said, it's a game that I've not played before, so my reactions are going to be pretty real. Um, so yeah, that links in the description. Um, go click on it. Go look. Support the company. Helps me. Helps them, and it would be pretty sweet. So go click that link. Um, I've got the HTC Vive as well. So the HTC Vive, you have controllers. With this, I'm not sure if you can set the controllers up so you can have the controllers. This is basically just for standing, and you've not got the room scale that you have with the HTC Vive. This is going to be, I'm going to be sat here, and it's basically just my head tracking um, with the, using the phone. Um, I'm not sure if you can set up the controllers with it, but with that, you'd have to have a HTC Vive um, anywhere, you'd, or you'd just have to buy the controllers, but you'd have to have the sensors for the walls as well. But let's jump into the game. Let's um, see how it goes, and then we can um, compare, like see how it is compared to the other one. So let's jump right into the game, guys. Uh, right. Okay, guys. So I've just set it up. It didn't take too much setting up, actually. It was quite quick to set up, um, which I found quite impressive. Um, you basically had to run the app, and then you had to download an app on the phone, run the app, and then you had the option on the PC, um, which game choose which game you wanted to run. Um, so I chose to run a game called Bogeyman. So this is actually an Oculus Rift game. It's not actually for the HTC Vive. So you can actually play HTC Vive games and Oculus Rift games, which is actually pretty impressive. So it's an all-round VR. Whereas with that, the HTC Vive, you have to you can actually play. Um, Rift games on the Vive, but you have to have an external program for that. Uh, I'm not sure if you can play Vive games on the Oculus, I don't think you can. But it's pretty impressive for a, such a cheap option as well, so we'll give it a go, we'll jump straight in. Um, this is like a horror game. Um, I think it's like a survival wave game, but we'll have a look. We will have a look guys, see what we can do. So I've got my um, headset. I've got my... Um, headphones so I can um, fully immerse myself so I'm using mouse and keyboard okay so we've got a flashlight so you might hear my mouse clicking which is pretty rip first thing I notice is we're quite low to the floor even though I've set up my um, I think that's probably because I've set it up and I'm sat down 
So, but we'll do a new game um, and see how it works. See if this works okay. Okay, there we go. So let's see what we've got, guys. So we're actually sat on the bed now. And there's a creepy looking um, monkey there. You can see out the window. Well, I am, I'm afraid. It's watching me. What the hell, guys? My sound has gone off, man. Ah, it is rip, man. The sound went off. Fucking piece of shit. Okay, so my headset's actually um. So the door actually opened. So there's a vent up there. So maybe it comes from the vent. Oh my god, it's at the window. <gasps> what the fuck was that? Oh my god, the battery runs out so quick. The door's open, man. How did the door open? I'm trying. Oh my god, this is so this is so creepy, guys. You have to keep checking under the bed as well. I guess it's like if you've ever played Five Nights at Freddy's, where there's you have to survive the night. I'm basically keeping an ear out for sounds. I'm guessing it can come through the wardrobe, through the door, the window. I keep, when I keep I keep right clicking and I keep pressing something on my PC, which is stopping the sound, which is a bit annoying. Not much is happening at the minute. Not quite, not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. This is pretty weird, guys. This is pretty strange, man. So it's saying it's 3.25 on the clock, so maybe I've got to last until 6am or something like that. Okay, I just heard some of that. Oh, is there? Oh my god. Wow. That is creepy as hell. So I guess I've got to just got to survive until um, the morning. Wow, the clock is going actually really slow though. So rip, man, rip, guys. I assume the late the later on in the like different nights get more difficult. But this is creepy as hell, and when your battery runs out, you have to look under the bed. I wonder if he can come under the bed as well. This creepy goblin thing. This is pretty strange, man. So not much is happening. It's 4.37 and I need to get to bed, man. What the hell, guys? That monkey is pretty creepy as well.
So I guess I just don't have to really turn my torch on until I hear some certain noises. And different noises, you determine where it's coming from, I guess. Five oh seven, getting close to the morning, guys. Oh, there he is! Oh my God! Let's have a look under the bed. Not much. Okay, so I think it's going to be six o'clock. So it's 5.37. There he is. Trying to creep up on us. Unlucky mate. And it's the morning. It's the morning guys. We've survived. We have survived guys. Let's do the flashlight celebration. That is pretty rip, man. That is pretty sweet. It's pretty weird. We'll keep going. Okay. So Thomas's room. I'm like, so we can actually walk around the house now. Okay, so we can't go in there. What the hell? Fucking scare me to death. I didn't realise it could get me there. I thought this was like a cutscene. It got me, man. It killed me, guys. What a disaster. Okay, so I'm not sure, quite sure. Does that take us right back to the beginning? That is rip if it does. Okay. So I've not actually got any battery. So let's just run this time. I go outside, try and go out. It's locked. So none of the doors open. Okay, this one does. I haven't got a torch though. So there's nothing I can do at the minute. Go back upstairs. Oh shit. Didn't like the sound of that. So the controls are actually a bit dodgy for this game. Let's go try and go into Thomas's room. Oh, what? He got me again. He got me, guys. I'm not quite sure what I need to do, to be honest, here. We'll try and go back into Thomas's room again, see if it lets us back in. No, it's not letting us back in there. Or there. Let's try going this one. No. This one. No. I can hear him come in. Okay, it's let me in here. Let's get in the bath. The shark toy. I wonder where it comes from, this creature goblin thing. Or from there, maybe. Okay, let's go downstairs. I'm not sure where I need to go, to be honest, but... Okay. So we're going into like a cellar here. Kitchen. <gasps> what the fuck, man? That is weird, guys. Anyway, I've tested. I've tested it out, and I've got a mark on my face from the headset. That is rip, guys. Um. So I've tested it out a bit. 
Um, it's quite interesting. Uh, the game's actually not the best of this particular game. It's not the best game. So let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in me testing out another, like a different game. Um, and give me some, and because there are quite a few like um, different, like better games that I could try. But this short notice, this was one that I could find. But um, it's actually the graphics in the headset are actually pretty good. I was quite impressed with it. I um, the controls of the game made it slightly difficult to play. Um, I think certain games, like for example, games made for the HTC Vive, where you get like the tr where you use the tracking controllers. Are going to be pretty impossible to play with the keyboard and mouse, but um, it is definitely very, really impressive. It's definitely really impressive um, how because this is wireless as well. If you know the HTC Vive is an actual actually a wired headset, so you're quite limited in that aspect. You actually tether to your PC, whereas this um, program actually streams the video to your phone screen. Which is absolutely insane to me. I just um, for the price I paid for the VR for the like, HTC Vive, it's just um, so good. But li let me know in the comments what you think of this. Um, give me some. Let me know if you want me to try some more VR games. Um, and leave a like, comment, subscribe. Like I said at the beginning, go check out that link in the description um, and have a look. There's a free version of this program you can try if you've got a phone that will support it. And you actually do need the P a decent PC. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more VR and I'll see you all in the next video.